for our first California themed release. We went just outside our backyard, just off the coast, to a place with some of the biggest waves and most extreme surfing in all of North America, OS 10 Mavericks. Now, Mavericks is a release with deep technology focused on extending battery life and providing responsiveness. It has great new apps and enhancements for every Mac user and some features that we think are going to really appeal to our power users. And I want to talk about just three of them right now, starting with Finder tabs. Sounds like you guys know how this is going to work. So <laughs> you, of course, can work in the Finder with multiple windows. It's a very powerful tool. But now you can draw all those windows together in tabs. Here's Finder environment. I got a lot going on, a lot of windows, a lot of different locations. I'm going to go up here to the window menu, and let's merge all my windows. Just like that, they hop into a set of tabs. Now, of course, these tabs have different locations, different view settings for each of those locations. Creating a tab is just as you'd expect. Just click plus. I can select another location, like AirDrop, maybe another for this work file share I have going right here. And now that I have multiple uh, tabs, it's a really great way to actually work and copy documents. So if I want to copy this field report, I can just hover over the AirDrop tab, drop it, just like that, really nice. And of course, I can now take Finder full screen. Next, let's take a look at tagging. This is really cool. So as I go to save a document, you notice I can give it a name, like let's say project plan. And in addition to its location, in this case, I'm gonna save it in iCloud, I can also give it a tag from any of the tags I've uh, made up. So I'm gonna call this document important. It looks pretty important to me. And we'll go here into the finder. And you see in the finder sidebar, I have an important tag and I see all these documents. They're from different locations, different applications all drawn together in sidebar. We have other tags I've given things for things that are draft and in review. Now, of course, with tags, I can assign multiple tags to the same document. That's part of the power of tags. So I go here, and I'm gonna say this one is also in review. And you notice as I assign that tag, it now appears in that location as well. I can also assign tags by just dragging things in to the tag area in the finder. So different assets for my website, just drag them in and they're tagged like that and tags are great for searching. Next, let's take a look at multiple displays. I'm gonna open up some of the kind of windows that I'm often working with. We'll open up iPhoto here, maybe a, a keynote presentation. And I actually have a second display connected to this uh, MacBook Pro. Let's uh, show that up there on the display now. Of course, with multiple displays, I can just move windows, cross displays like you'd expect. But now, I can get up at my menu bar on the second display. If I go down to the bottom, I can summon the dock, just like that. If I want to open an app on the second display, I can just open it on the dock here. And here's uh, iTunes. I can take this app full screen, just like that. And as I swipe spaces, just right back there, just on that display. Let's take a Keynote full screen as well. I'm going to go back to my uh, first display here. Let's even take iPhoto full screen. So now I have different full screen apps on my different displays. It's actually a really fantastic way to work going here into favorite travels. And I can now drag assets across my full screen apps like that, super cool. And mission control has just been supercharged for multiple displays. So I'm gonna go now into uh, mission control and we see my different full screen spaces and uh, uh, desktops across applications. I can drag a window from one display to another, but I can also go and drag a full screen app right across displays bring preview open, and now I have that full screen on this display as well.